Ugh, that was rude. <laughs> everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today I am coming at you with a little, just a, just a little, okay, a moderate size makeup haul. <laughs> I've been gone for just over a week now and I want to apologize but also say that I needed it. <laughs> I took a week off last week just because it was my birthday week so I was doing a few things. I was a little bit busy and also work was kind of hectic so I just needed a little bit of time and I couldn't get it all done and I'm sorry. <laughs> but I actually went to London and I got to see Lion King so I thought I'd bring out my animal print today in celebration as well. <laughs> but I went to see The Lion King in London in the theatre and it was incredible. I'm a Disney fan, I'm a Disney lover, Disney I mean is my soul. So it was amazing to go see it for my birthday, it was a present of my fiance and it was just, I mean it was amazing and it was so different, I really loved it. I also got a few cool outfit picks because I want a little bit extra and decided to go with the whole wild animal theme and I wore like a leopard print dress and I had a few cute photos outside the theatre just because why not? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, uh, let's stop my rambling about stuff you don't care about and let's get into the makeup because I did a little bit of shopping while I was in London, before I was in London, uh, and also in between. <laughs> so I thought I'd quickly go through everything that I bought so you know what's coming up on my channel, things are going to be trialing, testing, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into the product. So first off, uh, when it was my birthday, how many times am I going to say that through my video? Fenty Beauty was actually launched in Boots in the UK. It was fate, okay, and I felt blessed. <laughs> so I had to hit up Boots, Fenty Beauty, okay, I had to do it. Like, there was no choice in it. I was, like, drawn to it. I already own a few Fenty Beauty things, like the foundation, concealer, highlighters, bronzer, so I didn't pick up a lot. I only picked up one thing from Fenty. I picked up the Stunner Lip Paint, and this is in the shade Unbutton, which is actually what I'm wearing now. These are an interesting formula. Very liquidy and quite scented, as in a, ooh, should I be putting that on my lips kind of scent? <laughs> but very lightweight, and I do quite like the colour. I don't know if this gloss choice was the best option, I feel like I'm looking like, I don't know, like a gold mine right now. <laughs> but I picked this up and I'm going to be testing it to see if I like it, whether it's going to be drying, everything like that. That was the one and only thing I picked up from Venti. When I was in Boots, I also picked up the Pixie Glow Tonic because I've been wanting to try this for ages and it's the little mini size. It was £10. I just really wanted to try it because I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's got glycolic acid in it and it's supposed to be an exfoliating toner. So I thought I'd give it a go. Hope it does wonders for my skin and makes me look glowy and fresh. Oh, I also saw this in Boots, which just kind of blew my mind a little bit. I did not know you could get this in the UK, and it is the Face Halo, which I believe was originated by Chloe Morello here on YouTube. I have been noticing that I've been using a lot of cotton pads, and I really want to kind of dull down my consumption on those because they're not good for the environment. So apparently you can use this with just water, and it's like a microfiber pad that you can wash and reuse, and this is £7, so I'm hoping it's going to be worth it, and I'm going to be able to just use it to take all my makeup off and stop using so many cotton pads. Obviously, while I was in London, I had to go to the one and only Morphe store. I just really wanted to go in, touch and feel. And they hold Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I wanted to see what they had there. They did have the Blue Blood palette, which I was so tempted to buy because, oh my God, if you get the chance to feel that palette, it is so soft. The formula, it feels amazing, but I just needed to be realistic with myself and I'm not gonna use that many blues, although there was one blue in there that I freaking love and I did just wanna buy the palette for the one color, but I needed to be real. I more gravitate towards the blood sugar palette, so I have a feeling I'm gonna purchase that one day. I don't know when, <laughs> but they didn't have that in stock, so I couldn't pick that up. But while I was in there, I just kind of moosied on round and uh, came out with a few things. <laughs> so I picked up a few brushes that I've kind of been having my eye on in Morphe. I picked up an R39, which to be honest looks a lot like a Zoeva brush that I own, but a lot more affordable, so I thought I'd pick it up. I got the M153, which is like a flat shader brush, but it's just big, so I thought that would be good to just throw things like all over the lid really quickly. Also picked up the M213 brush, which is a tiny little smudger detail brush, which is going to be super handy for the lower lash line and in a corner. And then I also got the M139, which is a kind of like dense packer brush, but also has a little bit of fluff to it, so I'm hoping this is going to be good for like the outer corner and things like that. And then I picked up two face brushes. This one I really thought looked like the Sigma Precision Highlighting Brush, which Raw Beauty Christie uses here on YouTube all the time. And I was considering buying, but it was like 20 pounds for a brush and I was like, 
similar. But I saw that Morphe had one that looked similar. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to use this for like setting underneath my eyes and kind of like a multi-purpose kind of tool but mainly I wanted it for setting with powder and things like that. And then I also picked up the M451 which is like a little detailed kind of highlighter brush because I love ones that are like tapered and I've just been using like eye brushes for my highlight recently. So I thought I'd pick up like a dedicated highlighter brush. Also picked up a duplicate of the Morphe setting spray. I love this stuff and I used <laughs> on my other one up so I picked up a duplicate of this and I also picked up one of the lipsticks from Morphe because I haven't tried any of the formulas I felt a little bit of them in store and I really like the texture so I decided to get the color wifey which is just a nude but it is a matte formula and it just felt really hydrating for a matte formula so I'm hoping this one's gonna be good then I went into Harrods <laughs> and this is where the majority of my money went I'm not gonna lie <laughs> so in Harrods they stock Huda Beauty they stock so many brands including La Mer like the bougie brands like I just I mean I could have had a field day but I kind of restrained myself and I still spent a lot of money so yeah, I, I treated myself, okay? When I first went in there, I knew that I wanted to go to see the Huda Beauty stand because of these babies. And I didn't buy these online because I didn't know what shade to go for. And also I wanted to feel the texture and everything. So I bought one of the Huda Beauty Melted Shadows. And I got the shade Pink Champagne. I did try pretty much all of them all over my hand. And this is the one that I really gravitated towards. It's got a matte and melted side. So it's like a matte liquid shadow on one side and then a metallic shadow on the other. I am really intrigued to see how the matte shadow like blends out and everything like that. And Huda even uses these on her lips. So I'd be intrigued to try that out. Next, I decided to get one of these new sets. So it's like a lip contour kind of set going on. It's got a liquid matte and a liquid demi matte and also a lip liner in here. The matte is in Venus and the demi matte is in Day Slayer. So it's like the nude kind of set that she's got. I've never tried any of her liquid lip formulas or her pencils or anything. So I thought this was kind of a good set to try. And that was all I picked up from Huda Beauty. Then I moseyed on over to the Charlotte Tilbury counter and uh, bought only two things. But they were expensive, okay? Charlotte, why you gotta, why you gotta do this to me? Why, why you gotta take? all my money. But these two purchases are heavily influenced by people here on YouTube. The first one being the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is something that I see Samantha Ravendahl. Ravendahl? I don't know how to say her last name. I see Sam talk about it all the time on YouTube. She says it's so good for the kind of luminous glow like lit from within. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna buy it, okay? It's not something I need. I've got like, you know, normal highlight that I can just put on my face. I don't need it. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna swatch it, just see what it looks like. Walked away. You know, I was doing my thing, going around the other counters, and I kept on looking at the goddamn highlight on my hand. And so I was like, well, I've got to get it now. I, I don't... I don't have a choice. My my body and my soul needs it. So I need to go buy it. So I bought it. <laughs> I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it. Yeah. So I caved and I bought it. And I'm really excited to try it and see what it looks like on my face. How it reacts to other products. And uh, yeah. And the next thing I got was actually because of Jamie Genevieve here on YouTube. Because she's always talking about this. And she always uses it to set her under eyes. And you guys know I have trouble with setting my under eyes. I like to use a compact powder because loose powders just tend to accentuate texture and blueness and take away coverage so I got the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder in the shade fair and let me just say her packaging is always on point like this is like a beautiful compact and it looks very fair so it looks very promising for a highlighted under eye and I felt this in store and oh my god it is one of the smoothest powders I have ever felt in my life if I hadn't have touched it I probably wouldn't have bought it but then I decided to touch it and gosh damn it took me away to a heavenly place where I was in the clouds and I was just sitting there and just feeling the softness of them and oh my gosh it is a heavenly feeling like it feels really good so I'm really excited to see what it does for my under eyes on my skin and to see if it is actually as good as Jamie makes it out to be. <laughs> they also gave me some samples of foundation which I have a feeling maybe gonna be dark. Yeah, I got three and four. I mean, I was fake tanned at the time, but they're gonna be too dark for me. <laughs> and also I got a sample of the Wonder Glow primer and also I got a little sample of the Matte Revolution in Pillow Talk, which is one of, you know, like her well-known shades. And I got this because it was my birthday. And the only reason the girl at the counter found out was because she asked about my nails and she was like, oh my God, they're different on every single finger. I was like, oh yeah, well, it was my birthday. So I was like, you know, just go all out with my nails. She was like, oh my God, it's your birthday. And then she decided to go get me a little sample of this because this is actually like a little deluxe lipstick. It's so cute. Like, look, 
at this little thing like oh my gosh it is so freaking cute and small but yeah it's like a little bullet lipstick oh my god this is the cutest thing ever i cannot wait to like throw this in my purse charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are like one of those things that blew up like a while ago so i'm hoping it's gonna be good I don't know, I never tried them. I picked up one thing from Inglot while I was there because I'd never been into an Inglot store and in fact, I've never tried anything from Inglot before. I was just a little bit curious. They had so many gorgeous things in there, but I just decided to pick up this. It's the Pure Pigment Eyeshadow and this was in the JLo collection and it's in the shade 118. Insanely gorgeous. It is just like packed with shimmer in there. I cannot wait to try this anywhere and everywhere because it is gorgeous. <laughs> Moving on to MAC. Two things I actually bought from London and then other things I ordered. I'm just gonna show you them all while we're here. I bought two more of the Dazzle eyeshadow liquid things. Uh, I got the shade Lash and Dash and Every Day is Sunshine. I wanted to buy these when they first launched but they were sold out so I went with the Crushed Diamonds, I think it's called, color which is like the purpley blue one which is gorgeous. And I've used that one quite a lot but these two are more of like a champagne and gold kind of color. Flash and Dash is just like very very glittery and then the everyday is sunshine is more of like subtle but still sparkle i don't know they just looked really pretty and i decided to pick them up you guys know i use the liquid eyeshadows quite a lot i love doing a quick cut crease with them so i like to have a few options next is the aladdin collection as i said in the beginning of this i am obsessed with disney and when i saw that they were bringing out this collection i almost lost my shit. Two of my favorite things coming together and collaborating, I could not help myself. So I picked up one of the lipsticks. This is in Friend Like Me, which is just the nude color. I love this packaging. It's just so gorgeous. This is so pretty, okay? And it's just the nude of the collection. The other colors didn't really seem like my vibe. And this is an amplified finish. And then I also picked up the two, they're called powder blushes. But uh, personally, I don't think these are blushes at all. One's a bronzer and one's a highlight. I feel like, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. It probably work as a blush for someone else, but not for me. <laughs> Again, the packaging is just so stinking cute. And this is the shade, Your Wish Is My Command. And I don't know about you, that looks like a chocolatey bronzer. And it does actually look quite dark. In the pictures and things, it didn't really look this deep, but I have a feeling the undertone is gonna be quite nice. And hopefully it'll be a sheer application. And then the other one is Always One Jump Ahead, which is the golden color i guess this could work as like a blush topper or something but it is very sheeny it doesn't seem to have like that much of a dark cast so hopefully this will work okay for me but it is gorgeous nonetheless and it is a collector's item so i had to get it the final kind of like higher end thing that i've bought which i actually bought online when it launched is the huda beauty nymph i've done a review on this it's going to be going up after this so probably so stay tuned for that and we'll see if it works on my complexion but i got the shade luna this was so expensive Girl. but i really wanted to try it and i wanted to know if it would work for my skin tone and also it just looked really pretty so i decided i decided to get okay so judging me love it so <laughs> that is it for this haul it was actually quite a bit more stuff than i remember i'll be honest it was all a bit of a blur those are some of the products that you can look forward to seeing on my channel that i'll be testing for you guys and also for myself because i'm an addict <laughs> If any of those products interest you or you just feel like it, why not subscribe to the channel so you get notified of my future videos. All you have to do is click the red subscribe button down below and also the bell button next to it so you get those notifications. If you're excited for some of these products, then please give a thumbs up on the video and comment down below what you're most excited to see. And that is it for me, guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Thank you for sticking with me while I took a little bit of a break and thank you for the new people who decided to join in my absence. <laughs> I truly, truly, appreciate it so thank you so so much but yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you i hope you're having a magical day wherever you are in the world and i hope to see you on the next one till then bye guys <coughs> my name is kiriel and i cannot think of words today so i thought i'd go through everything so i thought i'd go through everything that i'm gonna be chest so i thought i'd go every <laughs> airbless uh, airbless <laughs> i feel like i'm more gravitable <sighs> so i'm hoping <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> you on the next one. Till then. Ugh, that was rude. <laughs>